My name is Andy Davis. I am Professor of Hematological Oncology, or in other words, blood cancers, at the University of Southampton. Thank you so much. And will you tell us a little bit about what you do, Andy? Yeah, yeah. So um, primarily, I look after patients with um, lymphoma, the whole range of different types of lymphoma. And I spend um, half of my week um, doing that. And the other half of the week, I am a researcher and I, I do what we call clinical and translational research in trying so that we can try and understand um, how we may better treat patients with, um, with lymphoma and how we might um, improve the outcomes of uh, treatments with um, lymphoma. Um, I'm really very interested in trying to unravel um, the range of different types of lymphomas and actually the, um, the differences in expressions of various genes within certain types of lymphomas, particularly diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And actually what we recognise is, although that's the commonest of all the B cell lymphomas, actually there is under the molecular microscope, there's a whole range of different types of um, diffuse large B cell lymphoma and that they can behave in a different way clinically and also they have a different range of genetic um, alterations. So although they may look the same under the microscope, they have different types of, of genetic alterations. And, and that's important because actually what we might be able to do is we might be able to better target our therapies to specific alterations in in the lymphoma so one group of patients with diffuse large b cell lymphoma may respond to the addition of one type of of drug whilst another group of patients may not get it, get the benefit from that drug but might have the benefit from an alternative type of, of of drug so this kind of understanding of the the genetics of the lymphoma is really important so that we can best target the right treatment to the right patient. And, and that's all about making the treatments rather than one size fits all chemotherapy um, for everybody is actually, can we target specific treatments for specific per patients? And this is called a kind of personalization. So, you know, we recognize that a chemotherapy works really well and chemotherapy with antibody treatments works really well in diffuse large b-cell lymphoma but it doesn't work for everybody and there are unfortunately some people who either fail to respond to our standard treatments or they relapse after having having responded so we're working really hard to try and and, and improve that gap and make it so that more people benefit from our therapies Thank you. And, and for everyone at home, uh, we have a research strategy at Blood Cancer, Blood, Blood Cancer UK. And one of the kind of pillars of our research strategy is to, to find kind of newer and more personalised approaches to treatment um, for people with blood cancer. And I think your kind of work is a really good example um, of that by kind of trying to understand the nitty gritty of every different type of disease so we can really personalise treatment. Um, so thank you for explaining that so clearly. Um, and kind of lastly, do you have a do you have a message for our supporters watching at home? Well, doing research of this this kind, this vital research, um, it can be expensive. You know, we are working with collaborators up and down the country to try and and and, and achieve the goals that we set out. And and I know that um, that it's that, that that this takes so much in the way of resource. And I really want to say thank you to all of our supporters for all the hard work um, that they that they do to do to support us um, because you know we're all trying to work on achieving the same goals so thank you very much thank you so much andy